What are some of the things that you personally want to work on in the offseason to better your game for this upcoming season? Um, obviously my shot is something that I consistently work on. Um, but with the shot comes confidence. And if you have the confidence, everything else will flow into place. Um, at this age, you know, you just want to continue to sharpen the things that you already know. Um, continue to work hard every single day you go, go in the gym, whether it's practice, whether it's shooting. But you, you put in efficient work. And um, I don't know. That's, that's something that I just tried to work on in all season, just putting in efficient work. Not too much, not overdoing it. I'm just having fun when I'm out. What are your expectations beyond winning the chip? What are you looking forward to, and what are you looking forward for this team to bring? You know, I think before we we have a lot to do before we can even start talking about the championship. It shouldn't even come out of our mouths. We um, we have to, you know, work hard. We have to continue to to build on on where we last, you know, where we last left last year. You know, um, there's a lot of things we have to improve, and there's a lot of things that we have to prove before we can be in the conversation with the championship. And I think that's the attitude and that's the method. You know, until you work for the right to even talk about a championship, then we should be initiating the matter of mouth. Now, there was a former teammate of yours that said, basically, when she described you, she said that you were tenacious. She said that when you first came in the league, it was going to change the world and the face of women's basketball tremendously. And what she imparted in you was your work ethic on and off the court. And that was from Delisha Milton-Jones. Your thoughts? I mean, that means a lot. You know, um, obviously, she's one of the key vets in my life in terms of somebody that it's going to be weird being here without her. You know, this is my first season in the WBA without Delisha being my teammate. And um, it's, it's tough, it really is. I think we're going to miss her voice, her leadership, her encouragement, her positivity. Um, and most of all, obviously, her play on the court. But at the same time, I think I'm going to take what she's taught me. And, and um, you know, her work ethic is second to none. I think I've obviously taken a lot from her in taking care of my body. And, and, you know, I think that's something I forgot in the past. You know, I really worked hard on the court and I pushed myself and I, you know, pushed myself to the limit. But then I might not eat right or I might not get my rest or I might not stretch or I forgot to take my vitamins. And that's her that was there, you know, telling me to do those things. I learned a lot about last year. You know, just because you expect to do something that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do it. And just because you work as hard as you can to accomplish something, it's not always going to fall your way. Um, it should break your spirit, you know? It just makes you wake up every, you know, more every day and think about that. And obviously, you know, I really wanted it last year. You know, I, I was very passionate, and I think our team was very passionate about winning a championship last year. But I'm going to take all those things that, you know, were lessons last year and kind of apply them to this year and just continue to try to better myself and lead more by example. So I'm here with the 2012 Rookie of the Year, something I did call last season, and that could try to deny. So congratulations on that. Thank you. And congratulations on your victory overseas. I appreciate it. So what have you learned playing overseas that's going to enhance your game this season? Uh, hard work. Putting in extra time, that is definitely one. I mean, obviously in the WNBA when I came in last summer, that was something that I learned. But um, um, it's definitely putting in the extra work to stay fresh, stay crisp. And um, not taking practice for granted, for sure. I'm a huge practice player. And overseas, you know, the schedule's a little different. And um, I capitalized on it as much as I could. So uh, I kind of expanded my game by working more um, individually. First of all, when it comes to enhancing my game, I never have anyone else in mind but myself. So, you know, however my game is enhanced, it's going to be through my team, through myself, and getting better as a spark. And, um, you know, I'm my, I'm my biggest competitor and my biggest opponent. So um, that's kind of how I look at it when it comes to getting better as a player. I would say that those three are already changing the league. They haven't even, they're, you know, fresh out of school and they're already changing it. They're bringing a lot of notoriety and um, a lot of support from their college fans and their college supporters uh, into the league. And I think that's really important because we need to get people to understand that it's not just, you know, it's not just a whole bunch of women playing. It's, it's as serious as the, as the NBA is. Um, obviously, there's, you know, disparities between the NBA and the WNBA, but we're as competitive as, you know, the next person. So I think they're doing a good job of bringing in that notoriety and the credibility that we need for people to understand that the WNBA is important. GM Ping Teller basically said that you were the key piece that was missing from this team to help them get over the hump. 
your thoughts on that and what does that mean to you as a player? Just a little bit of pressure. Um, <laughs> but that's a good thing, though. I mean, you want to have not just your coaches and your team, but the organization to have that much belief and confidence in you. Um, it, it, much, it makes you play better. It makes you feel confident. So uh, I'm excited about it. I know that I am a piece that can help this team push forward as well as the other pieces that we do have. And my biggest mission is to try to get our pieces all together uh, so we can be the best team we can be. Um, just continue to build on stuff that I have been building on for you know, years previous. Um, you know, defensively, continue to take pride in that. I made strides last year. Um, I know Coach will always continue to motivate me on the defensive end. Um, and then offensively, um, just, you know, continue to remain unpredictable. Um, obviously, my deep ball is, a, is an asset for me, and um, especially with the three-point line moving back, I'm going to create more opportunities to have more middle game.